Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode eight of Fargo. I can't believe we're closing in on the end of this season. I tend to watch two episodes at a time, so for me it's like there's one more sit down after this and, and Fargo is complete for, for the foreseeable. The title of this episode is Who Rules the Land of Denial? My vote would be Emmett. <laughs> I think Emmett is in a whole world of denial right now about the predicament he's in, his role in creating that predicament and his responsibility for his brother's death. It just, yeah, it's a, it's a hot mess. It is a hot mess. Nikki is handcuffed, unconscious, in the back of a prison transport vehicle while Yuri Gurkha is sawing through the access point wearing the head of a wolf. That happened. I'm really, really worried about Nikki. I want her to make it out of this. She's my Peggy. She's the closest thing to Peggy, um, feeling wise for me in this season. I really want her to make it out in one piece, having decimated her enemies. And I'm, I mean Emmett and Varga. I want Sai to be okay. I really want Sai to be okay. I don't think he deserves to go down but his luck is running in the wrong direction right now oh god yeah that that last episode was fantastic i loved all of the symbolism we keep seeing bears everywhere or wolves you know our our various wolves right this you know lord malvo used a lot of wolf metaphors i can remember remember him talking to talking to stavros and we had the lone wolf of hansi dent in season two and this one the wolf is Varga and we've also got the bears we had you know bear in season two you know but I'm I'm really enjoying that we have Mr Wrench I've since found out I don't know who Wrench and Mr Wrench and Mr Numbers are I've never figured out who was Wrench and who was Numbers but now we know he's Mr Wrench He's in the prison van, the prison transport vehicle with Nikki. I don't know what that means. I don't know whether it's by accident. I don't know whether he's working for a syndicate that needs Nikki, alive or dead. I, no clue whatsoever. I was just really glad to see him because his story has been has not been concluded. And he's our continuity because he's been in season one, two and three. He was obviously in season two as, as a little boy um, being conscripted by Hansi Dent before he became um, Moses Tripoli. This is going to be good. I'm excited. OK, without further ado, let's have at it. Is this them setting up for the um, prison situation? This prick. First badger. No, Nikki. Oh my God. Is our man? Thank God she was attached to him. I think this might save her life. Shit. Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Don't 
learn that. We're getting trapped to the ground. Oh shit. can get away. You speak a sign language? Are you kidding me? Hmm? How are we supposed to oh, chain to a deaf guy? The right deaf guy to be chained to in front of us. The sound <laughs> Yuri, you look like a dickhead. Take the wolf off your face. Seriously, guys, invest in some boots. That look like looks like um, where was her chops? Bear took um. We were headed north towards Watab. Simone to be we killed. The bus. Mm. <laughs> um. That stupid things off his head anyway. Ray, we need that money. I know. You want me to go? No, I'm fine. Oh my god. She'd be exhausted. Stop tagging the trees. <gasps> oh my god. So there's the hunters. Act. Put your back in it. Mm. Oh, 
Where's Gurkha? Yes. Do not tell me this is going to be the UFO again. Oh no, it's the car of the family. What? Bowling? I think you need to call Gloria Burgle immediately. There's whiskey. Make it a double. And one for my friend. I swear this season is so heavy on the Bowski references, unreal. Fuck off. Some days. Well, a wiser fellow than myself once said, sometimes you eat the bar and much obliged. Sometimes the bar will eat you. Who's this guy? Job sat on his dung heap, covered in boils. Mister, it's been a long day. <sighs> They're all long. That's the nature of existence. Life is suffering. I think you're beginning to understand that. Don't hurt that kitten. Aww. Ray is the cat. What? His name, I call him Ray. That's an actual kitten. Ray? I didn't even, that didn't even go in. Is that you? Uh -huh. Unfortunately, some souls cannot find a body to enter, and they become lost. Rabbi Nachman believed the Jewish victims of the massacre of Yuman were lost souls. 1768 in Ukraine. Have you been to this place before? The bowling alley? Is that what you see? We all end up here eventually to be weighed and judged as it is now for you and your friend. You know, some thought that he should stay behind, but I convinced them that he was on a better path now. Wait. And you, who will take a stand against evildoers? I think. You need a ride? <laughs> There's a car out front. It's a green Volkswagen Beetle. This is the universe at its most ironic. You and your friend should take it. The keys are under the mat. What? Simply deliver a message when the time comes. A message? To who? To the wicked. Though thou exalt thyself like the eagle. Though thou make thy nest among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Is he God? Oh, thou exalt thyself. It's okay. It's okay. You'll remember. I'm afraid you have to leave the cat. Oh my god. Bye, Ray. Oh! <laughs> when the gophers play, put a little beer in a bowl and put it in front of the game. <laughs> Lech Lecha. Seriously, is he Yahweh? <laughs> Let's see what happens to you when you go in the bowling alley. I don't think he's coming out with a car.